Winnipeg won in Carolina 3-2. Second straight game, Liney has scored two goals. He now has an eight-game point streak, which is good. Tim, are we underappreciating what this 19-year-old has done over a season and a little over a half of play in North America? Yeah. Because there's a lot of talk of a lot yes. of guys. Yes. Are we talking Liney like we should yes. right now? We don't give him enough love. Right. Most people don't give him enough love. And I think the city of Winnipeg is used to not getting enough love. If Patrick Laine played in New York or Patrick Laine played in L.A. or Patrick Laine played in Toronto, he would get a lot more love than he's getting. You brought it to my attention. I saw it in the highlights last night. Uh, we were talking about the players as teenagers to reach 70 goals in their career as quick as he has. It is an impressive list, yeah. and he is now at 70 goals while still a teenager. And I understand sometimes that has to do with when you're drafted, when you get to the NHL, and obviously the salary cap. I don't care when he was drafted. He was going to play in the NHL immediately because he was that ready. And when you look at the rest of the names on that list, it's impressive as hell. We're talking Lemieux. Yeah. We're talking, like, honestly, this is, and to do this in the dead puck era, essentially, right? He's a teenager. Carson, Howard Chuck. Bellows, who were Tigers when they got in this league. But were Tigers but, in a time when everyone was scoring big-time goals, yes. right? and shout-out to Crosby, who in similar circumstances to Liney did his thing. But he So was, the only other guy from his time Crosby. is Sidney Crosby. Correct. Patrick Liney is, honest to God, one of the greatest goal scorers I have seen. He hasn't played two years yet. Right. And we talk Matthews, we talk McDavid, we talk Crosby. We we're talking Kucherov, Malkin's having a hell of a year. All these guys are getting a lot of pub, mm -hmm. and it's, it feels like that Winnipeg thing, Tim. Yes. That will only get broken if they're in a Western Conference final and Winnipeg's on NBC Sports Network down in the States, and he is unreal. Patrick Laine is one of the best hockey players at this age I have ever seen in my life, and have 70 goals as a teenager should be screamed upon from mountaintops more, and we're not doing it. And I understand. Well, it was we're doing Carolina. it right now. We're doing it now. Patrick Laine, you are a beast, sir. Don't shave ever. No. Keep the beard. Keep the hair, and wherever else there's hair, you keep it, and you be you. Winnipeg, I see you. I see you, Winnipeg. Suck at sharks and your bad Wi-Fi. I was offside. Winnipeg's a great city. You got great players, and we know it. I went too far with the shit. I know, yeah, the I know. Point is, I know it was you offside. Seventy goals as a teenager. You're great. You're great. I know it was offside, and it You're wasn't great. the San Jose Sharks. It was where you went with that. But they're still not catching Nashville. Nashville's on a mission, man. Say Nashville, looks, but well, they won eight straight. Nashville, they'll yeah. slow down eventually. Just keep it going because guys are coming back, right? Truba's going to be back eventually. Mm -hmm. Steve Mason's going to join him soon. At least yep. get some depth behind yep. uh, Hellebuck. Uh, it, they'll be okay. You know, Stastny will find his feet a little bit more. He's actually he's been a lot better than I thought he'd be. Eventually, Nashville's going to slow down to him, and maybe, maybe Winnipeg gets their chance. Although last week they had that chance at home, they had him, they had him at home, and they blew it against the Preds. That's going to be a tough one to overcome. Yeah, tough. most definitely. And I think one of the things with Line A too is, is there's a few, been a few guys on that team that have distracted from Wheeler's had yeah. a fantastic year. The fact that Shifley plays on the team, the fact that Shifley got hurt, yeah. and the fact that Shifley has now come back and has kind of picked up where he left, all those things lead to perhaps Line A not getting the credit he deserves.